Halloween BLTV program is brought to you by O'Flaherty Law. Please enjoy. Welcome to Learn About Law. My name is Kevin O'Flaherty from O'Flaherty Law, and today we're going to talk about how to modify child custody orders in Illinois, or essentially change the allocation of parenting time and responsibilities. So what how difficult this is really depends on whether you are trying to modify the child custody order within two years of the last final order that was entered in the case or whether you're doing it after two years has passed since the last time the final order has been modified it's a lot harder to do it within two years of the last parenting order that was entered in the case this is because the goals of the Illinois Marriage and Dissolution of Marriage Act are to create a stable environment for children and avoid relitigating child custody issues over and over again. So it's that's why it's more difficult to change within two years of the last order. If the court enters a final order, they don't want the parties back in court right away. Um, you can change it within two years by mutual agreement, and it's a lot easier to do it that way. But if the parties don't agree, there's a really high burden on the person who's actually seeking to change the order. In this case, the petitioner is required to submit an affidavit along with their petition to modify the child custody order, showing that the current environment seriously endangers the child's physical, mental, moral, or emotional health. So then if the sub petitioner can submit that affidavit stating the facts that explain why there's serious endangerment to the child, uh, the court then has discretion to he have a hearing on the petition. They don't have to. The court. It's up to the trial court whether they think the affidavit has risen to the level of serious endangerment. Serious endangerment also includes long-term and potential harm, not just immediate harm to the child. So if it's been less than two years since the last order has been entered in the case, uh, then you need to show that there's been there's a real risk of serious endangerment to the child if they stay in their current situation. It's a little bit easier if it's been more than two years. It's not incredibly easy, but it's you don't need to meet that serious endangerment standard. If it's been more than two years since the last order was entered in the case, there's a two-part test. First, the petitioner has to show that there's been a substantial change in circumstances affecting the child since the last parenting order was entered. Next, if they can show that, they have to show that it's the proposed change is in the best interest of the child. Courts don't get to the best interest test unless the... Uh, petitioner can show that there's actually been a substantial change in circumstances. So that's how you modify a child custody order. You file a petition and that's those are the standards you have to meet and there's a big difference between whether there's been two years of time that's elapsed since the last order was entered or not and depending on that that's the standard that you have to meet. If you have any questions you can leave them below this uh, post in the comments section at learn-about-law.com or below the video on our YouTube station. If you found this helpful, please subscribe to us on YouTube, iTunes, and SoundCloud, uh, and you'll be notified of our daily article and video posts. If you need some help, <coughs> excuse me, please give us a call at 630-324-6666. That's 630-324-6666. We offer free consultations, and we have offices all around Chicagoland for your convenience. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Thanks so much for watching our video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Click the subscribe button for new videos every week and download and review us on iTunes. Visit learn-about-law.com for other legal-related articles and videos. Visit our business podcast and video blog, seizeyourbusiness.com. And visit Making Real Estate Fun for real estate videos and podcasts. Call us at 630-324-6666 for a free consultation.